way I can do this. Do this. So this past week, Jordan's teacher let us know that he's been throwing fits in class. Not multiple. She said he threw a temper tantrum. He threw a temper tantrum because he apparently didn't get lunch when he thought he was supposed to. Hmm. Now, hmm. in the past, Jordan has had temper tantrums. Like, but we kind of got a handle on it. We got a handle on his temper tantrums. But this is the issue I think that we were afraid of like the school culture being different than what we expect from our child at home. Yeah, because she kind of like, it wasn't really a big deal to her. Well, I don't, I don't know if it wasn't a big deal. I think it was a big deal. I think, I think the way that she approached it is different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, I think the way that she approached it was different. So the way that she presented it to me was that Jordan had a temper tantrum. He started crying because he was hungry making us look like some horrible parents who never feed our kids. <laughs> and he decides to throw his temper tantrum. So she kind of was, she was like, you know, a little bit loose, loose about it. She wasn't like really stern. She didn't come to me like to set up like a formal meeting or anything, which is good. So I'm like, okay, is it that it's just not a big deal? Or is it because, you know, this is how pre-K classes work? Or, you know, what's the deal? So the way we approached it was, okay, this is something we need to address with our kid. We're going to take him home. We're going to have a conversation so that we can make sure that this never happens again or it, it's least likely to happen again and try to get him to you know, either write an apology or to say one. So we ended up getting him to you know, make this sweet video where he apologized to his teachers and let them know that you know his behavior was unacceptable and that he knows his behavior is unacceptable. Miss Jesse, sorry for having a fit. Sorry for falling out. Sorry for pouting. Sorry for screaming and pouting. Will you forgive me, please? Again, Temper tantrums is not something that we have not seen um, before. However, like Devon said, we kind of felt like we got a handle on it and we had kind of nipped that in the bud. But um, we've seen like an accelerated increase in behavioral problems um, in both of Jordan and Leo, really. Um, so I don't know if it like just comes with like age territory or more so like the change or both. So that's really where we are. It's kind of just you know, sitting down, having conversations, trying to figure out, you know, like how much grace do we need to show them because they have gone through a big life change with right. moving overseas? Or is this something that we really, you know, like we really need to attack now headstrong? Um, and what mode, what mode of discipline do we need to do that in, you know? And that can be a whole nother video, like a long video yeah. series segment of child discipline and mm -hmm. parenting. But really, we just wanted to update you guys and just kind of come in and get a feel like all of our parents that are watching, um, parents of toddlers, yeah. families. You know, what do y'all do when y'all see like an increase of behavioral problems? Um you know, so we take devices away. We reward when we see good behavior. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's that listening factor. Like, yeah, and it's I like, can say, come here or put this down. And mm -hmm. it just does not register. Like, yeah, they're just not really, like, really selective hearing. And this is, pr see, if I was to say something like this to my mom, she'd be like, he's a kid. You know, and <laughs> I feel like every parent is going to say that, which is fine. We're just, like, when we have, we have high expectations for our family and for our kids. So there's certain things we're like, you know, they're just a kid is not an excuse for why they can do or why they are doing certain things. So we don't use that as an excuse, you know. So, yeah. So if you got some advice, please yeah, put it in the... this is a call for help, y'all. <laughs> we are asking. Please put it in the comment We're section. checking in to let y'all know we're doing good, but this yeah. is a call for help. Let us know, you know, like, do you think it's more so about the move and just all yeah. the changes? Or is this just like... You I think know, we've never had a four year old. We've never had a two year old before. I think um, it's I think it's just the like the culture's the culture's different. Like he not I'm not talking about Chinese culture. I'm talking about just culture 
in, in general, like school culture and home culture, right? We expect a lot more from him than his school does, and we see him in a different light. And that's what one of his teachers, you know, explained to me, and I was like, that does, that, that really does make sense. So I don't want to hold him to, I, I don't want to make it like this really, really big deal where we're like, you're going to be grounded, you're going to do this, you're going to do this. Because I want him to be a kid, you know. We, I think we are both, like, we want him to be a child. But at the same time, we have expectations for him. And going to school and throwing temper tantrums over food. They say he did the John Travolta slide. <laughs> they like, they say he did the, the, floor, the John Travolta slide on his knees <laughs> and screamed out, like, in the middle of class. Like, I'm hungry. Like, first of all, you're the only black kid in your class. If you... First, you you not if gonna. You blink wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Not that the I mean, Turn he it. has a certain um, a certain degree of eyes on. Like people are watching him at all times. At all times, and it's like he represents everyone else, and it's crazy that he's so young and he has With a that gift, responsibility. and he has that kind of responsibility. But it's real. What? So. It is. This is one of the things that we've been struggling with, like trying to figure out how to discipline him, you know. So we're looking for some advice. Like Jordan, you got word? anything to say about this situation? Jordan, what do you have to say for yourself? I'm sorry. You're so- no. That's <laughs> not. <laughs> that's not. You see what I'm saying? It's comical, but it's serious. Like, because. Anyway. Um, <laughs> keep watching our videos. We'll update you guys on we'll how We'll update you guys. So leave us some advice and then we'll try some of them out. We'll go through, read them. Um, and then we'll come back with an updated video, hopefully with um, results that work for our family. Maybe we should beat them. We don't know. Anyway, no. miles away. We'll see you guys later. See you all later. No, sweet girl. She be tripping too. Uh-huh. We just ain't even got on your case yet.